Island Health provides forensic care to patients who have suffered some sexual violence, that being either a sexual assault, intimate partner violence, or child maltreatment. Patients should seek out forensic nursing when they feel that they have been violated in some way or they are unsure and they want someone to help validate them. We don't work for the legal system, we actually work for Island Health and our main practice is your health care. But we have that specialized knowledge that we can actually help incorporate some of the legal components in the forensic care. So the word forensics means for court. It means preparing evidence for court. So what the forensic nurses are trained to do is to gather evidence from a crime scene, which is the human body, in a way that we can present it in court. It's been gathered reliably, it's been stored properly, and then it's the people who will speak to it, which are the forensic nurse examiners, are court experts. So if we can say that we got it from people who are specially trained in how to gather this evidence, then immediately that, that just makes the, the whole case seem more reliable. Island Health launched the program way back in 1996 in Victoria and in 2003 in Nanaimo. It was pre predominantly because the, uh, the patients would come to the ER and would have to wait a long time to be seen. The Surrey Memorial Hospital uh, had devised a new model of uh, seven nurses on schedules. Uh, they would see the patients 24-7 in their ER and that model really showed that by concentrating the knowledge uh, into those few nurses um, really improve the patient's care and experience and documentation. So Island Health decided to, to copy that model. In November of 93, we educated the first nurse examiners. And by that time, I wanted to be one. I put up my hand first. Uh, that program is still very much alive and well here in Surrey, as well as many other programs in British Columbia, as well as ones across Canada. So right now, we have nurses working in domestic violence, intimate partner violence, uh, child abuse, elder abuse, human trafficking, um, sex trade. There's bullying, there is stalking, there is uh, child pornography. All those things that people avoid, like the plague, are the, the working field of the forensic nurse because there are so many things they can offer to the individuals who have gone through a violence and trauma. 50% of women will experience sexual assaults or physical violence towards them within their lifetime. And 90% uh, of those go unreported. So Island Health really wanted to create a program that was patient-centered and uh, trauma-informed and culturally safe. What's important to know is that Indigenous women and girls are disproportionately impacted by sexual violence and, and intimate partner violence. Compounding this is Indigenous-specific racism. That's why it's so important that Indigenous women and girls and other service providers are aware of the services of the forensic nurse examiners. They provide care and support that's holistic and trauma-informed, and they've uh, taken advanced training, including cultural safety, that supports them to understand how they can create that space and opportunity for, um, for healing to begin. No one chooses to be abused it happens to them because there's another individual that chooses to abuse. Many individuals who have been involved in a violence or a traumatic situation like to blame themselves or choose to blame themselves because that's what they um, feel inside them, that it must be my fault. And the first thing I would say to a patient is, this is not your fault, I believe you. And we can never change what has happened to someone in violence and trauma, but we can certainly change how they're cared for after and how the world recognizes them as a survivor. We don't listen enough. <laughs> and that's where I think forensic nurses have it over everybody else. We listen and we care.